G'day, let's have a look at this Echo Pop speaker. This will run Alexa, so you can talk to the virtual assistant through this. And it's actually a really nice small one. You can see for size comparison there. It's just made out of plastic, a little shell. It sounds quite hollow on the inside, actually. It doesn't have all that much weight to it. It's got a little nice rubber sort of pad on the bottom, just so when it sits, it'll sit nice and stable and not move around. And on the front, it just has this felt cover over the whole front, and it's gonna have some perforations there for the speaker. So somewhere there, there'll be a speaker that speaks out. And then on top, we've just got three little holes for microphones, and then volume down, volume up, and no listen button. And on the back, just a single power AC, oh, sorry, DC in to actually power it. And then again, on the bottom, just that little pad. So there's no visible screws or, or anything like that, but usually they hide it under the stickers sort of on the bottom. So I reckon there'll be something underneath here. I'll take this off and see. So that hasn't opened up any, and there's a couple of holes there, but there's no screws visible. There is this extra slit here and there's some contact on the bottom. So maybe that's for, for programming the actual board or troubleshooting or, or some sort of extra extension. And although I can't see any screws in there, there are three kind of holes that I might be able to push through and I don't know, might release little clips or something like that. So I'm not sure how else to actually get it apart. Alright, there we go. So that front sort of felt material was just held on by adhesive and you sort of open it up here. There's a little hole you can push through and it just starts sort of get that rolling there. It does have these perforations just here, but the rest is all closed off. And then we can see a little speaker there and there's this four uh, Torx screws there holding it together. So I'll undo those as well. So that pops out. I assume this is just the speaker assembly. Yeah, so we've got a speaker out the front, on, on the front here. On the bottom, there's a metal sort of, I don't know, assembly that's bent around this. And then down here, we just have two contacts, which is just going to be running to the speaker. And then this metal bit is just, just uses four screws to be screwed onto that plastic. But that plastic bit is going to be hollow on the inside, but most likely sealed, airtight seal. And that's going to be done there for the acoustics, so the speaker works as best as it can. Also, this little bit of translucent plastic just fell out as well. And that sat up on top like this. So it sits on these LEDs. I think there's five of them. Yeah, so the five LEDs here. And this has little slits on the side as well, so this will actually sit on top of each LED and each of these channels will conduct the light from that LED and then so it'll be separated here but then it'll eventually merge in the end to kind of create a smooth motion I guess on top and then up on top of the case there's just an extra diffuser there as well that that this bit fits onto and then other than that we just have yeah we've got this little RFID I assume tag again as, as a bunch of other Alexas down the bottom here it's just the actual power bit, so we've got the power coming in, and it's just a little PCB. That's oh, too bright, right? And just a little PCB holding that in place with a little connector, and then there's just a connection between this and the main motherboard here. So I'll take the main motherboard out, but I won't bother with that. It's just um, just a little PCB with a connector on it. All right, so there we go. That's the actual brain box of Alexa. So underneath the shielding here, we're most likely gonna have microcontrollers that'll actually do most of the processing. Then the shield will just be there to protect it from any sort of electromagnetic interference or anything like that. We've got a little bit of thermal pad there and that'll just sandwich onto, I think this side here of the speaker, there's a little, little bit there for it to go onto. I think that just goes right on there and then 
this here is just used for heat dissipation so as a, as a big, big heat sink for the main PCB that produces a lot of that heat. Then we've just got some LEDs up the front and a couple of other chips. So a couple of other smaller chips here. So they might just be actually, there'll be some analog to digital ones because there's going to be microphones. Yeah, I guess actually, so we've got the microphones on this side as well. So this here, this here, and this here are three microphones. So these microphones will obviously take in analog and there's going to be an analog to digital converter. One of these chips will be that. That'll convert it to digital signal, which will then get processed by the actual processor. On sort of the back, we just have these little springs that will just contact onto various things. So two of them will be for the for the speaker down here. And then there'll probably be a couple of other ones just to contact maybe even onto the board here as well. Yeah, there you go. So onto, onto this board here as well, just to ground that whole thing and make a contact together. And then on the other side, we've just got the three buttons there. This middle button there has a couple of LEDs next to it. Then we've got some capacitors here and a couple of inductors. So that's kind of where the power comes in. So there's nothing else on this board. As I, as I said, it's, it's literally just got that connector soldered or the two connectors soldered together on a couple of tracks. So all the power would come in straight onto the main board here. And then this here would just be doing the filtering and the processing of the power. So just controlling it, regulating it. That there is most likely going to be a, either a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi chip. And then we should be able to see an antenna somewhere as well. Yes, yeah, so I think at the end, at the end here, just at the end here, we've got that little track just there. And I think that's going to be the antenna. And there is also another one of those out the front here as well. So they're both slightly different. One's most likely going to be Wi-Fi, the other one will be Bluetooth. And they work at slightly different frequencies, so that's probably why you're going to have the different antennas there. But I'll hold this still. If you want a closer look, that's the one side of the board there. And then flipping it over, we've just got this other side here. Awesome, I think that's it. There's, yeah, a couple of other things worth mentioning, I guess. These little buttons are just, let's see if I can press them nicely. So there's just plastic injection molded bits with the little little sort of spring assembly. So as you as you push the button, it then just springs back into place. So that holds it there. And then again, that just pushes these little little buttons on the PCB itself. And other than that, the case the case doesn't really have all that much to it. Just a bunch of little standoffs to mount the different bits and pieces to. But I think the reason this all sounded hollow was when I mentioned was when the speaker was inside. However, that actually fit in looks like this. Yeah, the speaker, there's a little air gap in between the speaker and the case all the way around, or it looks like all the way around. That's why when you tap this, it sounds hollow because there is that gap in between. And I'm not sure exactly why they would have done that, but maybe even just for thermal management. So they've got this heat sink, I guess, here, right? And that, that'll sit in there. So fresh air can come in from the bottom. Actually, maybe not because this might be blocking off a lot of the air, but maybe the air can come in and then the hot air will flow up and out through this way or this might actually even contact the case here closer and just transfer the heat over. So I'm not sure exactly how that'll work, but they would have obviously thought about that and made it work well. But nice and small, just smallest PCB that I've seen in any Alexa that I've taken apart. I'll put a couple of links up to the other ones that I have, but nice, neat little package and, and seems like a pretty decent speaker. There we go. So thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to see more of this sort of stuff, then consider subscribing. Thanks very much and have a good day.